So it's been a little while since I've done an ARC video, a bit too long if I'm being honest. And if I go compare all the performances of my videos, it's pretty obvious that my ARC videos are way more popular. So, it's time to make another one. However, it can't be Extinction because I kind of had to start over. A, I don't want to explain it, it's really depressing and sad. So I started searching for ideas and it didn't take me too long to find a source of inspiration. I mean, those damage numbers are unholy and will live in infamy forever on my channel. But then I thought to myself, what if I incorporated those damage numbers with me, my character? but then added in some rules to make it more interesting. And that's when the superhero challenge was born, or the superhuman challenge, I don't know. So here's basically how it works. I raised the player damage and player health regen a lot. I also increased the scaling on levels so that each increases by a different amount. None were the same. So for example, my oxygen, I would only have to level up once and then I could essentially breathe underwater. My health, on the other hand, I would have to upgrade a bunch of times if I wanted to compete with the bosses. Oh yes, I'm fighting bosses. It, it should be a given considering the title is beating arc. The biggest setback of them all, I can't tame anything. I turn it off. I have to do this all by my lonesome, which will make it very much interesting considering, you know, I'm literally a broken superhuman. I also only have five lives to complete this thing, and if I die, then I get to raise one attribute. I can't change any of the stats per level stuff though, I can only change the fixed stuff like player damage or health regen, stuff like that. If I die in a boss arena, then I am allowed to give myself everything that I had prior to death in that boss arena. The goal was to fight all bosses on alpha, but then I realized that alpha bosses were not designed for one person to fight alone unless if you're doing two broken amounts of damage, and so I changed to beta, but you'll see that later. Cool? Cool. Let's get started. I'm gonna make a new guy. He's gonna be beautiful. He's gonna be... He's beautiful. Whoa. Already got to level up. <laughs> oh no, okay, no, this is good. I've got two cups of coffee, a small desire to live. Let's do this. Wait, I'm too scared to punch a tree, because I know it'll do damage to me. I also forgot to turn up the whole resource collecting thing to make this thing go faster, so I had to go do that. Let's do that again! Pain and suffering, my friends. Pain and suffering. Okay, I think I can... Just under holding a thousand pounds and I'm only level four. We're off to a great start here. I'm not interested in fighting until I have... <clears throat> I'm not interested in fighting until I have a weapon. How many times do I need to say it? I'm going to level up some more health. That is what all the homies do best. so much damage I just one shot the rocks. I might be able to make this work with the damage. Might just be able to make this work. Okay, I'm going for 10,000 health. Hi. Beautiful. <laughs> that was disgusting. Come here. Oh, wow. Come back here. Yes! Amazing. Is this it? Where is it? There's somewhere over here, right? Ah, here it is. Where are the spookies? That's gonna be annoying. You disgust me. You all disgust me. I. <laughs> it's so fun! Weird effect. That's one.
so funny. Shut up, bro. Oh boy, when I have to kill an Alpha Rex, this is gonna be fun. If I can even find an Alpha Rex. Ooh! Oh, I just one-shot a Rex. Go again. I decided to set up my base of operations next to the volcano. That way I didn't have to go run and get my artifacts back every single time I died. But that wasn't gonna happen anyway, right guys? Right? Fascinating. Nature at its finest. Seven refining forges? Alright, alright. Then I went and grinded some more, got some metal tools, yada yada yada. Nah, this isn't ASMR. This is the real deal. You don't want to see that boring crap. You want to see me do caves. point I realized I could make the most pro gamer cave run of all time. So pro gamer it would make Indiana Jones quake in his boots. Ah, here we are. What? <sighs> Man, I'm not okay right now. Okay, I see it. I see the hole. Oh, I did. I got like right in there. Yes. Oh my god. You were so. Cute funny. Thanks. Can I crush your balls? Yeah.
fucking guacamole, dude. What? Where? Where's that coming from? Again? Why did they all respawn? What is this turning into? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that at this point I was fully leveled and I had like 13,000 health. So I really wasn't too concerned, but uh, this was still scary. The amount of death going on is not okay. I almost made it. Oh, hey. Is there a way out of this? It's the Battle of the Ages. I don't have any grapples. Oh, I see the way. just killed each other. Oh, oh. oh my. Oh my god. Oh my. I really shouldn't do this. He has the high ground. Oh, he hurts. Oh, he hurts. Stuck. Eh. He's stuck. Just die. Please. Please. Just die. Yes. Cheesing spot. Let's go. Ah. Rough. getting so close. Howie. Wait, why am I so concerned about getting hit? I only have like 10. Not gonna lie, it's kinda noisy out there. Boy. 
me, y'all. Uh, just kidding. Don't try me. Uh, have a nice day. Or go! Die! Give me your skin! I'm not gonna lie, I was somewhat surprised that I managed to get all of the artifacts without even dying once. I mean, obviously it was far from over, but it was a good feeling nonetheless. So I hurried home and I began preparations. And that's also where I realized I still needed a bunch of other tributes to summon the Alpha Brood Mother. So, the next day I went out to get them. Bro, I hate my life. Oh hey, Basilo. What? Ah! Isn't this like the Giga not a source mount? I guess it isn't just a given that one will spawn. It's just a chance that one will spawn. That sucks. I feel like I'd be able to see him a long way off, so. Like that. I. Yeah! Yeah! Take care of the raptors! Alright, you're asking for it! I can see my health going down. I. Alright, we're gonna fight this out like men. Look how much health he's taking off. Wait, no, come back. I need your stuff. Good gash. Come on. I need their brains. Do you mind? <laughs> no, 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 no. Bro, of course I wasn't ready. I was literally fighting the Alpha Broodmother with a primitive crossbow and a primitive long neck rifle. I don't want to hear it from you guys, so shut up. Shut up, please. This is not good. It's not looking good for me. Why can't I move? You know what? There it is. So first I decided to scale my damage to 40 because I died and that's that's what I get to do when I die. I also began crafting a ton of gunpowder and polymer and stuff like that so I could make guns. I was gonna need guns to fight these bosses, it was very clear. I don't even care if it was on beta, I would need guns. It's America, you know? It, it's kind of our thing. Literally two hours of grinding later and I was finally ready. So it was time for revenge on the spider mommy. And no, it wasn't fun. It wasn't the slightest bit fun. Especially when you need to strategically run away because you literally have no health and you need to get it back. Hold on to your panties, people. Hold on to your panties. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. But honestly, in all seriousness, the strategy really worked well and I was able to beat it. Oh, this is my last stand! Please kill. Please die. Look how many spiders there are. I can't kill them all. Hello? I figured I was in the end game now, so I was just gonna try and haul it out and keep grinding for ammo and 
stuff and repairs and whatnot. As much as I hate all of this grinding, I have to remind myself that it's just for the money. Oh wait, but I'm not monetized yet. <coughs> <coughs> that wasn't on topic at all. Since I had almost everything I needed to fight the other two beta bosses, I went ahead and just decided to fight the monkey since I already had everything. does a lot of damage to him. I'm not gonna lie, the monkey was super easy. I just hit him a bunch of times with my rocket launcher. He did nowhere near enough damage to me. I wasn't ever in danger. His little minions did nothing. Dude, it was a cakewalk. Oh, that felt good. I had to do a bit of grinding to get back the bullets I had lost against the Monkey King, but then it was time to fight the dragon and... Oh, sweet Jehovah's Witnesses, I forgot. The dragon can actually do percentage damage, which completely defeats the point of having 13,000 health, which is what I had at this point. I told myself that when I started this challenge it would be really funny, and after this, I found it distinctly unfunny. As a matter of fact, it was the unfunniest thing that had ever happened. It was like I was one of those guys in one of those watching women's comedy until I laugh videos, because I certainly wasn't having it. Not that I have anything against female comedians. That's not the point I'm trying to make. Really nice. Also here, in order, I have a small list of the attributes I raised upon each death. This includes the prior value and what I raised it to. You guys write all that down? Too bad, I don't care. Let's move on. I honestly was kinda neutral about fighting the Overseer since I had beaten the other three bosses. It felt doable, even though I only had one life left. I had just enough stuff to make some of the endgame gear. Well the limited stuff that I could only get fighting beta stuff anyway, and rounded up everything I needed for the Overseer. It was time to officially prove that monkey brain is superior to artificial intelligence, especially when you give said monkey a space gun. <laughs> Mess around, find out. I don't like it. The 
amount of pain and suffering I'm about to endure. Please don't. <gasps> There might be a way. There might be a way. I know the way. I see the way. There's no way. I just got that lucky. Boys, it's meant to be. Let's do it. Why is this sound so loud? Mr. Volume, get down there. See if that actually did anything. All of you die. Oh, hi, guys. Why is the Overseer easier than the dragon? Hey! Hi there. <laughs> He's got one little hit left. Dude, I'm flexing on him with a crossbow. This is amazing. Leslie, hit him with the go! <laughs> Let's go! If you're still watching by this point, thank you so much for making it this far. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. If this gets enough attention, I might do one for Scorched Earth. Also, comment below whether or not you think you can see Ohio from the cutscene. I, I personally think I can, but uh, I don't know. Let me know if you can in the comments. And I will see you guys in whatever the frick I'm doing next.